3-1. Jeremy Goss, well it was meant for him, but Blackburn have picked it up and they can counter. Great ball from Sherwood for Shearer. Still Shearer. Oh, how about that? Wonderful goal from Alan Shearer. It's a free kick in a very dangerous position here for Blackburn Rovers. Gordon Cowens hovering over it, and Gordon Cowens has scored! Pinch of a goal from Cowens. Shearer again, who's caused Norwich no end of problems. Away by Sutton, but only to Ripley. And that's six! That's six! Sherwood, there's a swagger now about Blackburn. Wright's cross, Shearer's header, and another one! His 12th league goal in 11 Premier League matches. So, with a quarter of the season gone, Blackburn were now leading the way. Norwich was second, then came Coventry and Queen's Park Rangers still up there with them. But looming ominously were Villa and Manchester United in fifth and sixth places. Over sports world. Sportsworld, Sunday nights after Theatre 12. United's next game was at home to Liverpool, with Ian Rush, the Welsh international striker, on the verge of a club record. One more goal would enable him to overtake Anfield legend Roger Hunt. But United were out to avenge the defeat by Liverpool at the end of last season, which cost them the title. Good work from Bowlby, setting Hutchison away. Oh, it took a deflection, and it's there! Hutchison has scored for Liverpool. Here's Mulby. Liverpool pushing forward now. Red Nats gone through. This is Rosenthal. And it's off the line by Pallister. Or cleared at least by Pallister from Ronnie Rosenthal, who didn't really put any power at all behind the shot. But here's Rosenthal again. And he's through again. Rush! the Liverpool goal-scoring record. Blackmore for Manchester United. Hughes. Mark Hughes! Steve Bruce has stayed forward as Parker pumps that one through, looking for McClare. Now Giggs. Oh, chance here! Hughes has done it again! Alex Ferguson well pleased with United's comeback, but at this stage of the season they were still dropping points. For the next game, Brian Robson was back after injury. And Lee Sharp also returned after a seven-month layoff through illness. It was an important fixture against Aston Villa, whose ebullient manager, Ron Atkinson, was named manager of the month for October. Villa had remained unbeaten in that month, including victory over United in the Coca-Cola Cup. The league game was to produce a similar story. Staunton, Atkinson here is through, and a chance for Villa, and a goal for Villa! Daly and Atkinson is the scorer. I like what's happening, I like the way we're playing, um, and it would seem that the Birmingham public are enjoying that, so that's the most important thing. The people of Birmingham were certainly pleased, although some Villa fans did go to extremes. This is the car of violinist Nigel Kennedy, an avid Villa fan. Villa now were viewed as title contenders, but Norwich City would go back on top of the Premier League if they could beat Oldham at Boundary Park. That's a lovely ball. Call the house with the cross. Must be a goal, and is for Robbins. Henry's cross, flicked on and in by Sharp! What a very, very good instinctive finish from Graham Sharp! 
box, he's onside, he has Robbins in the middle, that's the perfect ball, must be a goal, and is. Now that really was very well done indeed by Norwich City. Flicked on, and Marshall, one-on-one -on -one with the keeper, is this the goal for him? Yes! Phillips, still Norwich, Robbins, sniffing his hat-trick maybe, he's got it, he's got a hat-trick, and that's the goal, I'm sure, that is going to put Norwich City back on top of the Premier League, Mark Robbins, hat-trick. Yes, Norwich back on top, with Mark Robbins a major influence. Arsenal were up to second, but soon to falter. In third place were Blackburn, followed by Aston Villa. Manchester United had now slipped to 10th, with the feeling in the United dressing room that a fresh face was needed. United pulled off the transfer coup of the season by signing Eric Cantona, the flamboyant Frenchman from Leeds United. It was a real masterstroke from Alex Ferguson, which was to turn United's season to lead ultimately to the title. His talents appreciated all round Old Trafford. Well, it's, it's given everyone a, a boost or a jolt. Uh, I don't know, quite know what the right word is. Um, obviously, it was a uh, surprise to everybody, uh, and not just in Manchester, but uh, all over the country. But uh, he's a quality player, and he'd be a great addition to our squad. Cantona had to sit out his first game as a United player, but his mere presence seemed to lift his new teammates in the match against Arsenal at Highbury. Leclerc allowed to turn. Giggs coming in. Good chance for United. Hits the post. Luck with Arsenal, back from Sharp, and Adams, and it's in. Two has arrived right on the line. United back to winning ways, but the showdown of the day was at Villa Park. Now Such, this is Fox, and Robbins. Good build up here by Norwich, good finish too by David Phillips. And Norwich City take the lead. Phillips with the corner. Oh, Spix lost it. Beckford and a goal. It's two. The mistake by Spix. And it was Beckford who cashed in. Now, Houghton. Has sparrowed out wide. Doesn't need it, though. And Villa have called the goal back for Ray Houghton. Step by Garnet, squirmed underneath him. Stockton. This is York. Now Barrett to Houghton. Oh, Parker! 2-2. Two -two. Came back off Culverhouse. And there was Gary Parker. Such. Good proving right by him. Now Fox. Teasing those Villa defenders, Such with the shot, and Norwich are back in front. A real boost for Norwich, and at Anfield, better news for Liverpool in late November. John Barnes was back. He appeared in the reserves only a few days prior to being a substitute against Queen's Park Rangers. Barnes unexpectedly got his chance when Ian Rush was injured early on. Barnes coming on to a hero's reception. And in a thrilling match, it was Barnes who made the decisive contribution. Rosenthal shakes off Peacock. Rosenthal puts it away! Liverpool look to have stolen it late! It would still take Barnes a while to adjust, with Liverpool having to spend long periods in the wrong half of the table. Down at the bottom, it was becoming clear who would struggle. Although Wimbledon, third from bottom at that stage, would soon improve. For Southampton, early...